consider the time you spend in cars. Short trips, long journeys, traffic jams. What happens to the myriad random thoughts you have as you gaze out of the window? The ideas that combust and tick over in your internal suggestion engine, your subconscious. Well, ideas are energy, and energy never dies. They motor skyward into the Imagosphere, revved up with are we there yet anticipation. Melded together, they form an escape route paved with exhilarating opportunities, an ever-expanding arena of challenges with rewards beyond any earthly aspiration. It's a boulevard of woken dreams, a reality built on fantasy, a place you can put your imagination pedal to the metal in a contest of camaraderie and creativity. Sackfolk, start your cerebral engines, for this is Little Big Planet Karting. The Imagosphere is the energy that binds Little Big Planet and all its moons and satellites together. A force so powerful, even the Negativitron could not bend, crack or deplete it. But it needs a guardian. It needs a caretaker. It needs you. A dyed-in-the-wool Little Big Planitian, an adventurer, a stern, focused, enigmatic hero. Uh-oh. There. Yeah. Little Big Planet is once again under threat. This time from the greedy grabbing Horde. The Horde scavenge and collect prizes, materials, and objects, but never use these treasures to create and share. All they want to do is keep, to stash, to hoard. No, sack friend. Your little legs may be perfectly knitted, but even they are no match for the Horde and their rag and bone racers. This is a battle to be fought in a different arena. A racetrack. You need some wheels, my child. Aha! Commandeer that cart and make it your own. Quickly, young sackling, put the pedal to the metal. We know you'll take this mission seriously. Semi-seriously? <sighs> oh, crikey. Um, anyone for driving lessons? The greedy grabby horde are a simple bunch, so driving one of their commandeered carts isn't going to be a prob for a clever clog like you. You just need to be shown the basics and you'll be away faster than a cowpat off a hot shiny shovel. Quick tour of the controller would be good. Oh, would you prefer to use the X button or the R2 button to accelerate? Okay, the basics. Press the acceleration button and your cart will move forward. Keep it down if you want to burn wool. You can achieve some pretty exhilarating speeds in this game, so let go of the button if you want to slow down for a corner or stop altogether. The brake button will stop you even quicker if you need a loo break. Once you've stopped, keep that brake button held down if you want to reverse. Steering is done by pushing the left stick left or right, or you can use the directional buttons. Well, if you're happy with the ergonomic comfort of your controller layout, just give the old action button a sammy stab, and it's all confirmed. Excellent. You've picked your preferred controller buttons, and we can continue. And if you want to go back and alter them at any stage, feel free to do so in the pause menu, or the settings menu in your pod you have to feel 100% comfortable when you're wacky racing. Am I not right, sir? In karting lingo, drifting means taking a corner in a really cool way. It's skidding, but controlled skidding, and saves all the hassle of braking. To drift, 
Steer the way you want to go in a corner whilst pressing and holding the drift button. The cart turns to the side and skids in a visually pleasing manner, I might add. It's advisable to hold your drift until your tires ignite. That's a good time to release the drift button and get a satisfying boost. You get my drift? You see, that was a superb bit of drifting, both excellent and excellent. The boost you get is from the positive thinking molecules of the Imagisphere igniting in the drift backdraft. The bigger the flame, the bigger the boost. Now, who wants to know how to steer and drift at the same time? Hmm? You're doing brilliantly with the drifting, now to drift whilst steering your cart. So this time, press the drift button and steer with the left stick. Remember, DNS, drift and steer. Nailed it! Knew you would. Now you're equipped with another string to your bow. Well. You passed your driving test with all the flying colours of the rainbow. Time to start your weapons training. No, we're not getting bogged down in the logistics of ballistics. We're simply going to show you how to blast suckers off the road. Behold the Weaponator. A serious bit of kit. Drive through it to pick it up. Then you can start collecting weapons. Each time you get one, Sackboy will be holding it, looking tougher than nine-year-old cheese and twice as dangerous. Oh, nicely collected there, number one. You are now furnished with the Weaponator. It dishes out weapons in what we call RR distribution. Two words, or some like your style. Now, let's talk about how to make every shot count. Taking a hit will slow you down and make you lose slight control of your cart, so avoid it if you can. Now we're going to give you what we call a defensive weapon. Defensive weapons are slightly sneaky in that they can be deployed behind you to slow down other racers or destroy incoming weapons fire. If you watch for the incoming weapon icon, you'll see it changes into a shield. This is the exact time to press the weapon button and deploy your defensive weapon. When the icon shows a shield, the defensive weapon will fire backwards to intercept the barrage from the brutes behind. Tailgaters. Now you're firing on all cylinders, you clever sack bombardier, you. Just remember, once you have a weapon, you can make use of it straight away or save it for a more dire situation. You can set the difficulty level of your game, you know. Normal is your bog standard threat and hurdle setting and is nothing you can't handle. But if you're of a mind to Sunday drive with very little to do, set it to casual. You can all... Congrats! In fact, what the heck? Congratulations! Have the full lot. You've learned so much in such a short time. If I didn't know better, I'd think you were an android. And if you ever forget anything or you want a quick recap, get your sack tushy back here and we'll do the whole bally lot again. I would love that. <laughs>